I, for ours is an education. We'll go in and educate a homeowner as to how product works and how product is defeated. You know, when you've got a door contact or a window contact, you know, it's the most commonly accepted, the most affordable device, and it's uh, used in, in all applications. And then the next one is uh, motion detectors. I can go in and put a motion detector in a corner, and I can shoot 30 to 50 feet across the room with all sorts of level beams that come out, some that come down, some that come further down, so I can flood that entire house. The next common device is glass break detectors. I can put a glass break detector in a room at about 25 to 35 feet from where that device is, depending upon the manufacturer of the glass break. I can cover every bit of that glass that's within 25 or 35 feet. But we'll go through and educate somebody and say, if I do nothing but contacts throughout the whole home, and somebody comes in and cuts the glass or breaks the glass and just walks in, but they never raised the window or lowered the window, well, now I've defeated the product. You know, if I contact a window, there's three ways to come in a window. I can raise, I can lower, and I can come through. So when I go do that, door con that window contact, what have I really done? I've protected one way. So the next is, well, okay, forget the contacts then. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna put glass break detectors everywhere. Well, okay, now the problem is, glass breaks can get very expensive because every single room, whether it's a little bathroom or a little pantry closet, Every room needs to have a glass break that's within 25 feet of where there's glass. So number one, it can get costly, but number two is if I only put glass breaks, what if they went and kicked the door open, never broke the glass? You know, What if they took a crowbar and popped the window lock and raised the window and walked in? So glass breaks may not be that all in all answer. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, well then I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put motions everywhere because they got all those beams you just talked about. Well, if I flood it with beams, then you know what? Nobody's gonna get it. Doesn't matter if they raise, break, raise the window, lower the window, break the glass, kick the door in, cut the glass, does not matter. You know what? You're absolutely right. The only problem is the motion has to be on to work for you. And when you're in that home moving around, you're not gonna have the motion on. When you go to bed, most people are not comfortable with the idea of saying, well, what if I get up in the middle of the night or if my children get up in the middle of the night? So there's really a balance. So what does that mean? When it comes down to, for you as to what the rooms, the locations, the accessibility, whether the front of the home gives you the concern or the back, usually we walk through with the knowledge of those devices, you're gonna help us kind of more lay out as to whether should we do a door contact? Would it be better to contact these windows? Another way that some folks protect is you can pin the window. Put a security pin in the window, then they can't raise, they can't lower, they have to break the glass. Mm -hmm. So in that case, it's a wonderful way. My only caution is I wanna think about life safety. How am I gonna get out of this home in the case of a fire? What are those deadbolts? Are they double cylinder or single cylinder? So there's a lot of factors that go in to decide what is that right security protection. But I'll tell you, studies have shown in our industry that 80% of anybody's alarm system is all about the yard signs and the stickers. So if you start your per se bubble of protection and you've got, you know, out at the yard, you've got the stickers and the signs, that's usually gonna keep somebody going on to the next house. So what's that next level? As they get a little closer to the home and they see that door sticker, okay and they start to break in if they kick that door in you've got a door contact okay or if, or you, it's glass breaks or motion so having some perimeter protection and some interior backup protection you'll know that right balance by the the layout and design of your home specifically that's kind of a short version synopsis as to you know what is real protection for you as well as having uh, the customized view whether I need panics but I need to know what's gonna be right for you and your home and the way, you know, where's your gun safe? Where's your office? Where's your children's bedrooms? You know, but every homeowner is gonna be different as to what's gonna be the right solution for you and your family. To receive instant access to all the other videos of top questions people ask most about security systems and receive your free security systems buyer's guide, visit www.security-systems1.com.